Hello my friends and welcome back. In this video we're going to understand why we use by, remember and mutable state of keywords. If we remove them all and try to replace it with count variable equals to zero. It's a basic integer. Run the application. Now the count is a regular integer. The app seems to work fine. If we click on the button nothing happened. Why? Because the state is not preserved across recompositions. Remember is missing. And the state is not observable. Mutable state of is missing. As a result, the UI doesn't update when the button is clicked. Now let's try to use the remember, remember mutable state of zero. Here we remove the by keyword. When you don't use by keyword, you need to explicitly work with the value property of mutable state. This adds some boilerplate code. So here we can notice that we have an error. We need to access the count by using the count.value. And here we need access the set value of the, the count variable by using count.value and we increase it by one. Let's run the application, click the counter and you can notice everything works fine. So without using by, you use explicitly dot value to read or update the state. The code is less concise and slightly harder to read compared to using by keyword. Now let's try to remove the remember. So when you don't use remember, the state will be reset every time the composable is recomposed. This is because remember is responsible for preserving the state across the recompositions. Let's try again, removing these and run. Click the button, nothing happened because we are not increasing the counter. The state count is reset to zero every time the composable is recomposed. So when the user clicks on this button, we need to recompose the text. And every time the text is recomposed, is reset to zero. This makes the button useless because the count will always be zero. The last thing we need to see is declaring a variable without the mutable state of. It would be... Um, a, a, a normal variable, the count variable is a regular integer, not an observable state. When the button is clicked, the count is incremented, but the UI doesn't update because Compose is not aware of the change. So if we remove this, this, run again, this makes the button appear non-functional. Okay, so this is the importance of using the remember, by, and mutable state of keywords. Thank you guys. If this is your first time here, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and like and comment below. And if you want to see me in the next videos, uh, please comment below if you are in.